Welcome in our final guest today. Annette Milano is the organizer of the David Milano Adopt a Student Fund. Annette, I believe you've been in uh, before to chat with us. You've got an upcoming golf tournament that we want to talk a little about today because that helps support your mission. Welcome. That's, Thanks for being thank here. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Well, talk a little bit about your story and, and your son who you lost a couple of years ago. Um, yes, David took his life in December of 2020 and struggled with uh, severe mental illness. Mm -hmm. He was um, seeing things, feeling things that just didn't happen. And um, I tried, I tried everything to fight for him to get into an inpatient facility. Mm -hmm. um, but I, he was 30, he was in his early 30s. He was 35 at yes. the time of his yes, death. Yes, but yeah. I fought before then right. too, yeah. to try to get help and um, just, we have a crisis in this country for the mentally ill, mm -hmm. a, a severe crisis, and the laws need to change. They need, we need more funding, we need more inpatient facilities, we need help, we need more power to the families mm -hmm. that are, I was not, my hands were tied. Yeah, so frustrating yeah. for you. But out of your tragedy, you have created something that's mm -hmm. really taken on a life of its own and really is changing lives. Um, for those who are still on this earth. Talk a little bit about the Adopt-A-Student Fund. So I kept thinking, what can I do to, to have David's memory live on? I didn't want him to be remembered as someone with mental illness, someone that struggled. He was a very proud prep graduate, very proud, and enjoyed his years there. He was an athlete. He just, it, it was a wonderful time for him. Mm -hmm. So I thought, what can I do to continue his memory? And I thought, this is it. Mm. I will go to prep. We had meetings. I set up meetings. Um, came up with the idea of the David Milano Adopt a Student Fund. And our mission is first, the financial need. To try to be able to have students attend Cathedral Prep that wouldn't necessarily be able mm -hmm. to attend on their own. Mm -hmm. This is our mission. And you are um, uh, adopting this student all through their years of prep, right? Correct. You are sponsoring this student yes. for their tuition from freshman right through senior year. Correct. Yes. Until and so they the graduate. golf tournament will help raise funds for for that. Yes. Uh, so talk a little bit about that so we can get all those details out there and you can get some teams signing up. So the golf tournament is August 5th. Um, we do have a Facebook page for David Milano Memorial Golf Tournament. Um, all is welcome. We're just we're in, we're in a lot of need this year. Mm -hmm. One of our students um, that we picked as a freshman, Xavier, he has been diagnosed with stage four B wow. Hodgkin's lymphoma. Mm -hmm. um, it has spread to his neck and his right lung mm -hmm. right now. Um, the doctors in Children's Hospital are confident that he's going to beat this, mm -hmm. but it's going to be a hard battle. Yeah. Yeah. And Xavier was one of the students that you've been sponsoring Correct. Uh, through the last couple of years. So yes. are any uh, funds from this year's tournament going to Xavier in his fight? Uh, or are you yes. Just, okay. Yes. We are hoping. Uh, we started out as freshmen giving 5000 We gave 6000 last year. We're hoping to give seven. And then we're also hoping whatever is over that that we give to Xavier and his Great. family yes. for their medical expenses. So if you'd like okay. more information on Facebook, you can find the David Milano Memorial page for more information. There's the info there on that uh, golf tournament coming up. Uh, Annette, thank you so much for joining us and thank sharing, you for having yeah, me. Thank sharing you. your son's story. Thank Thanks you. For being here. Thank you. We'll be right back.